Hey everyone, this is Susan. Welcome to I Totally Love It. Today's video, I am working on episode 18 of Junk Journal Sketches. Um, so this one's going to be a little Valentine theme, and the sketch I chose came from Page Maps. And um, you can see here it's January 2018. And it looks like, you know, you've got a, probably a journal card here. Um, a viewfinder, which I actually got this um, from the Echo Park um, when they had the sale back in, I think it was January. And uh, it's time to use it. So, yeah, obviously, I kind of stretched this out so we can see it better. But um, so we're going to make a little journal card. Um, and you've got two different little banners here. Um, so I've pulled out some paper from this pack. So it's Prima Marketing Ma Magic Love. Oh, Frank Garcia, Magic Love. Uh, paper pad with foil. It doesn't have a year, but there are three of every sheet. They're double-sided, and um, I'm actually going to use the backs of most of these. Um, some of these have little bits on the front that you could cut apart. Uh, I might do some of that for something else, but we'll see. Um, and then I have my little bag of uh, Valentine themed items. Um, so we might dig in there for some items. Oh, there's a heart. So I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. These are plastic. All right, guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy some tunes, and let's get cracking.
Okay, you guys, I just did not like how that string looked on there. Um, I'll save this for something else, uh, maybe since it's got that little hole, to maybe put it on a charm or something one day. Just take off that sticky part. Um, I'm, I'm upset with myself that I dropped the glue sign. You guys, I really should put together a blooper reel of all the times I've dropped stuff after I've put glue. I'm going to go with this digital here. I went and trimmed the edge a little closer with <clears throat> these little scallop scissors. And I had to do every little scallop one by one because they don't line up just the same <laughs> as the scissors. So I'm just going to add that. Let's see. It's kind of there. I guess it doesn't you know, have to be exactly like the picture. Um, but I had to pause my video because I needed to pink string. I almost dropped this again, you guys. Oh my gosh. Um, so my husband and I had to do some running around town anyways. Um, so four hours later, I am back <laughs> working on this. And uh, I think it turned out all right. Everything's a little, you know, on the pastel side there. This was probably a little too bright. Um, and then the little string there, probably should put some glue in there to keep it, keep it glued. Um, I like how it turned out. It's a nice little journal card. Um, I don't know if I should round the corners. So I feel like everything is square except for the heart and the button and the, the viewfinder piece. If you don't have a viewfinder, um, die cut you could put you know doily there um, or anything round um, you can put a big flower there if you had a big like digital flower or something or just punch a circle out of some flowery paper and um, <clears throat> I think these digitals belong to Michelle over at Junk Journal Studio and um yeah i really i'm itching to <laughs> round these corners do it or don't do it do it or don't do it let's just do it this is some pretty um thick paper i want to say stiff paper but now it's very, <clears throat> like, I did not have to back that on anything. Sometimes you got you know, thinner paper and you got to back it on something. Um, but that's going to hold up quite nicely. Now, there's not really a journal spot, but you could totally, that's light enough. You could run on top of that. Um, or this could end up just being a pocket and you could totally tuck stuff in there like that. So, yeah, I didn't really like... That's the same size. That's good. I didn't like the string. I just couldn't get it right. I don't know what kind of string do they use in scrapbooking. Like that looks pretty on a plan here, but I can't get it to do do that. <laughs> this would not fit through. No, not not that. The uh, the initial pink cord I was trying to use, I think I already put it away. Um, it did not uh, fit through the buttonholes. I did try the green ribbon. That wasn't too bad, but I figured I was going out. Let me go get some floss. I went ahead and got a, a variety pack, you guys. <laughs> so in the future, I have more choices other than just shades of brown or cream oh i did think about this flower but i thought it'd be too bulky plus i mean i'd have to go get the wire cutters cut that off i think i'll save those for a journal cover those feel so nice i have a whole pack of those <laughs> waiting to be used all right you guys so um if you're over in the um junk journals crafts and more facebook group i want to share this video um and you decide to create along with me um, post your creation there in the comments uh, or i'm on instagram under the same name i totally love it and um 
you know, just tag me and put um, hashtag junk journal sketches. And um, yeah, I think it turned out great. So that's page maps, January 2018. I don't remember off the top of my head if that's a card or a scrapbook layout. I would venture to say maybe a card, but I don't remember. Sorry. Um, I went and picked it out, I think, last weekend. And sometimes I write it down, but I didn't this time. Um, but head over there and you can check out all the different uh, things in their archives. And um, you can also go on Pinterest and uh, find you some things. But uh, yeah, let's make some things for our junk journals uh, using all these scraps that we have. Or if you still scrapbook, you know, you can make it for your scrapbook. And um, you could totally use, you know, book page or sheet music or um, whatever, whatever suits your fancy. All right, you guys, I appreciate you and your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.